Hey, I have kind of good news for you because I will start playing your video games. As you might know, I had a German YouTube channel before. There I had also a series where I played your video games. It was called Let's Play Your Games or something like that. I think it's just an amazing way to provide some value to you. Firstly, I can promote your games. I can help you to get at least a little bit of attention. For now, this YouTube channel is a pretty small one. But at least a couple of people will see it, so I hope that will help you out. Secondly, I will give you feedback. I don't know everything, so my feedback is obviously not the holy grail of game design, but at least maybe it's an interesting opinion. And on top of that, you also get all the opinions and the feedback of all the people that participate in the discussion in the comments, which surprisingly are a lot on this channel, so I like that. <laughs> That's very cool. I want to make that something that you yourself can leverage. If you create your own games, then I want to give you the opportunity to get my feedback and to get the feedback of this amazing audience that we have right here on this YouTube channel. I think it's just an awesome way to provide value to you. At the same time, it's a pretty easy video to make. Let's be honest here. I just have to sit down and play your game for 10, 20 minutes, do a tiny bit of editing maybe and videos done so that will maybe in total will take me an hour or something like that probably a bit more with thumbnails and upload and peep blah 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 in my opinion the series is just something that both helps you and me yeah of course the audience you guys i hope you will get some value from this as well when you see some games that other people made and what i think about them how you could improve them so i hope that brings both a bit of entertainment and a bit of value and things that you can use in your own projects and for me it's cool as well so sounds like a win-win situation doesn't it but i feel like we need to do it a bit different than i did it last time last time i just set up a new email account and said whoever wants his or her game to be played on my channel please send me an email with your game there were a lot of interesting games a lot of pretty cool games that i liked but there were also a lot of pretty boring games that not all that much work went into and so i feel like we need to raise the barrier of entrance at least a little bit i cannot promise you that i will play every single video game I don't think that's something that's possible or that I want to do. Okay, so if you have an interesting game, then your chances are good. And um, we'll just make it pretty in a pretty similar way. I will set up a new email account. Then you will have to send me an email that contains the following things. Firstly, a download link <laughs> to your video game. Or if it's small enough, you can also send it as an, an attachment in the mail. So the first requirement is that your game is easy to download. If it's not, I will not play it. <laughs> and secondly, it would be cool if you could tell me in the mail what the game is about and send me a screenshot. If you send an interesting screenshot and tell me what the game is about, then your chances automatically rise. Because then I know what I'm getting into and if it looks somewhat interesting or if I think there's something interesting you can learn from this or some interesting feedback or maybe even something interesting that's really bad about it then I will probably play it. Think of it as a pitch, you're pitching me your game and also include in the mail what you want to have feedback on, which parts of the game aren't you sure about, what do you want to know, what do you want to figure out. If you ask specific questions, if you ask interesting questions, that also raises your chance that you'll get featured. So if you have a really crappy game but ask good questions and have good points what you want to get feedback on, that can also work, I, I think that will work as well. Uh, I don't want to make this an um, elitist club that only special people can get into if they try really hard. <laughs> I'm not that kind of guy. I really want to help as many of you as possible. But at the same time I know how it went the last time and I had to check them all out and then I figured out that 30 of them were just very simple and boring replications of the exact same thing that I did in my tutorial videos and that's not something I want to happen again. That's just a bit too boring both for me and for you. If you will keep seeing the same games over and over again, you'll, at some point you'll just say yeah. And so do I, <laughs> because I need to play them. But generally speaking, okay, if you have an all right game and some interesting questions and some stuff you want to have feedback on, I'll probably play your game, okay? 
especially in the beginning this YouTube channel is super duper small so in the beginning I will probably play pretty much anything <laughs> that get, comes uh, my way and then as we grow we'll have to see how we do it. Yeah, let me know what you think about this idea but I think we'll just try it out and then after three or four episodes we'll either shut it down if you're not interested if you don't think it provides a lot of value to you then we'll obviously shut it down so for now it's an experiment and if it works we will continue going down this alley because as I've just said I think it's a win-win situation for both for the audience as well as for me as well as for the people who can feature their game on this channel I think it's good for everybody so let's let's at least give it a shot let's try it so to sum it up if you want me to play your game it doesn't matter which engine you made it in doesn't matter which state it's in if it's already can you can already send me finished games but I think I'm a bit more interested in games that are not finished yet because then you can implement the feedback but if you have a nice game and you just want to feature it go ahead okay i will play that as well i can still give you feedback i often ask for feedback on my projects even if i know that i will not change anything if even if i know that they are finished because oftentimes you can use that feedback and implement it in your next project so guess even if your game's already done can also send it to me but it's obviously smarter to send in games that are not done yet your games don't need to be absolutely perfect okay if they're too perf perfect then I can't say anything about it that also makes it a bit boring <laughs> so they don't need to be absolutely perfect if they are absolutely perfect also no problem just don't worry too much just be aware of the fact that at some point I might not be able to play everything anymore yeah that's it for this little update and then I'll see you in the first episode of let's play your games but probably not tomorrow <laughs> tomorrow is probably a different video Thank you very much for watching, make the world a playground and see you tomorrow.